Hey, hi genius. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I will be sharing with you all my dental hygiene essentials. So my job, as you know, if you're a dental hygienist yourself, it's pretty routine. You know, the things we do, the things we use every day usually doesn't change. So I have some of my favorites that I'm gonna go over today. These are probably some things I could live without, but I definitely don't wanna live without if I had to. But before we get into my essentials, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. I'm Kalisha and I am a dental hygienist. I post faith-based personal development and dental hygiene related content here on YouTube every single Monday and Friday. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a dental hygienist. So I don't wanna waste a lot of time rambling, so I'm gonna hop right into my first dental hygiene essential, and that's gonna be some protective eyewear or loops with a headlamp. Now our PPE automatically includes um, protective eyewear for not only our patient, but for ourselves. There's a ton of different kinds of protective eyewear or loops that you can get, but the difference, I wanna explain the difference in all of them. So right now I just have a basic pair of um, protective eyewear where you can just slide on and of course it protects your eyes. Um, this is just the basic standard kind, okay? And with this kind, because it doesn't have a headlamp, which I'll show you in a second, you will have to have a chair that has an arm headlamp over you so that you can, um, you know, illuminate the mouth and, to, and be able to see. So the next pair I wanna go over is the same exact um, protective eyewear, except it has a headlamp now. So this, you know, discards the need of having to need a chair with a headlamp and our chairs and our operatories don't have lamps. So we have to have protective eyewear that comes with a light. So as you can see, I'll put it on. It has a cord now with also a string on it that I can clip to the back of my shirt, throw underneath my arm, connect it to my light source and then click this button and I have a light, which you all may not be able to see very well, but boom, there it is. So there's a little headlight there, um, cut it off. I can also lighten it, dim it, make it brighter or um, dim it. And of course you have to charge this just like you would a cell phone battery. So that is um, the first just protective eyewear with a headlamp. And lastly, I wanna go over loops. Oh my God, I was introduced to loops while I was in dental hygiene school. And to be honest, um, I haven't worn these in probably about two years just because my battery has been messed up and the light doesn't get very bright. But the difference between loops and a regular um, protective eyewear is that here you can see there's magnification. So it puts your puts the teeth right in front of you, although it may be a distance from you, it magnifies it and brings it right up here. So it's ideal to, to maintain, you know, a good posture and your ergonomics. So I highly recommend loops. I just haven't gotten around to buying me some more. So same thing, um, it has a string that you can, you know, snap to the back of your shirt, throw behind your, um, arm and then it also both have a drawstring that you can tie as tight as you need it and then of course you can hook it also has a hook on the back that you can hook onto your pants or your scrub pocket so that it stays so yeah those are the protective eyewear um and if you've never tried loops in your life oh my god get some it will probably change your life now you can work without them but of course you probably put some strain on your eyes um on your back your neck and you know loops just will help you increase the longevity of your career as a dental hygienist so i highly highly recommend loops my second essential as a dental hygienist is an operating chair that helps me achieve the ideal working posture for me, I love the saddle chair, but not only the saddle chair without the back, but a saddle chair with back support also. Now, no other hygienist in my clinic uses the type of chair that I have, but they already had it here when I got here. And the first time I worked with it, I was like, I love this chair. And I wanna tell you why it is now an essential for me here at my office, but of course I can't take it with me on the go, but I'm sure there are chairs that are portable um, if you are a travel hygienist or a temp hygienist, but because it's only temporary, I would think your seat wouldn't matter. But because I'm stationed here every single day of the week, all day, I like to have my favorite operating chair. 
And with this chair, I have back support at my upper pelvis. It helps keep my back straight so that I'm not slumped over. The seat keeps my hips higher than my knees. And my favorite part about the base of the seat is the little, almost like a bicycle hump right in between my legs. And it keeps my legs spread slightly apart, no more than 45 degrees. And it helps me keep both feet flat on the floor. During your clinic class at school, you know that your ergonomics is so important and this chair touches all of the high points that they stress that can help you have a long lasting career as a dental hygienist. So an essential of mine is definitely an operating chair, preferably a saddle chair with back support. Moving on to my third essential as a dental hygienist, which is probably a given, instruments. I need instruments. Of course, we all need instruments to clean teeth, but I have some favorites. My favorite brand, hands down, is Hugh Freedy. Love Hugh Freedy from their shank design to the long working end. I just absolutely love Hugh Freedy, so highly, highly recommend you try them out. But I have some favorites here that I want to show you and I want to talk about why they're my favorite. Number one is an ultrasonic tip, just a universal ultrasonic tip that helps me, um, that I can use with my Cavitron on those larger, harder deposits that I don't want to spend a whole lot of time hand scaling on. I just need to bust those jokers up and then I can go back and hand scale. So definitely, definitely need a Cavitron tip. So of course I have to have a mirror as well as an explorer and a pro. So those are just staples that belong in every single instrument pack. Along with those three staples, I have a combination of Sickles, Gracie's and Universal's in my kit. I love the Nevi 1H5 for interior and stain removal. Absolutely have to have that in my kit. Also the 204S sickle um, that goes above the gum line for the posterior T. The 13, 14, 15, 16 posterior Gracie's curettes. I love those. You absolutely need those in your kit. They just cover different surfaces of the same tooth. The 1112 is great for root planning. I absolutely love the 1112 in the slim design of it. And of course the one two for anterior root planning and um, subgingival deposits. And my favorite universal for all over the mouth is the Born Heart 5-6. Absolutely have to have that, cannot live without it. I just love it. Now I won't absolutely die if I don't have one of those. I'm able to still use the instruments that I have and do a great job. However, those are the ones that I love to keep in my kit. Also, if you're in an office that has a variety of different hygienists and you all have to autoclave and clean and sterilize and store your instruments together, highly recommend that you get some color-coded rubber bands or ID tape to wrap around your instruments. I have the purple ID tape by the brand Zerk. Um, all you have to do is wrap this tape around your instruments. It is safe for the autoclave and anytime it unravels, which is, you know, usually takes Oh my God, a lot of wear and tear for it to unravel. But anytime it unravels, all you have to do is take that piece off and replace it. And that way your instruments are color coded so that you can know that they're yours. Some instrument brands already have a rubber band around the neck, the working end and the shank of their in instruments that you can order straight from the company saying, okay, yeah, I want green. Yeah, I want blue. But if you want to but if your office wants to cut costs and they just send you a bunch of instruments and you want to identify which one is yours, this ID tape is great for that. Moving on to my fourth essential as a dental hygienist that actually just came about in the last year during the pandemic that we're currently in is an ear saver. Oh my gosh, I cannot live without an ear saver at this point. Anything that hugs my ears hurts. During the pandemic, we had to wear two masks, a regular level three as well as an N95 and all of that tugging on your ears hurt. So these little ear savers that um, we got from Etsy or some scrub shops have them, but I love Etsy. They have so many cute ones that you can, you know, um, get your name on it. You can put whatever you want on it. But this is the cute one that I have, the only one that I have, the one that I use, and it has little buttons on the ends that all I have to do is hook my mask to it. And it goes behind my head, past my ears, and it gives a great seal around my nose. And it doesn't really allow the um, fog from my breath up into my protective eyewear to distort my vision. 
So absolutely love and recommend an ear saver. If you haven't tried it, it'll save your ear. <laughs> Next up on my list of dental hygiene essentials is a cordless Profi system. Oh my God, absolutely love this. Um, now there's standard Profi systems on the tray handle already that has this, it's generated, it's a generated motor that goes along with the seat and you have to use a foot pedal to control the speed. Um, I found that of course your feet can get kind of tired doing that as well as using the Cavitron, but having this cordless um, Profi system is great because easy to go on the go with you um, and all you have to do is place it on the charger, charger super quick. The amount of speed you get is determined by the pressure you apply. So all you have to do is cut it on, it'll automatically start spinning to let you know that it's on and if you just apply a little pressure it speeds up and if you take that pressure off it's it stops it just goes at the gradual pace to let you know that it's on i just love how easy and effortless it is to profi with this without having this long cord hanging from the end of it to the bottom of your foot and so on and so forth but don't fret if your office doesn't have a cordless profi system you can still profi okay i'm just being a spoiled hygienist at this point my office has spoiled me and i like the high tech things in life okay <laughs> Next on my list of dental hygiene essentials is a Nomad. Oh my God, absolutely have to have a Nomad. I have not worked at an office without a Nomad in ever, okay, ever. I just haven't. Um, but I have been at an office where they had the long arm where I had to run around the corner and take the picture, but eventually that office did get a Nomad and I loved it. Um, Nomad is just that it's easily transferable from operatory to operatory office to office um it decreases the x-ray exposure just the almost to none literally um we're standing and holding the x-ray gun we do have a particular way we have to stand to avoid getting potential um radiation when we're exposing radiographs but it's very minimum i see a lot of you asking in my comments why don't patients wear the shield and that's just why there's little to no exposure and usually they opt out of it actually because they hate how heavy that lid is on there so we just give them the option and half of them are like yeah no don't really need it don't really care for the amount of x-rays that they get in a year next on my list of dental hygiene essentials are two models these are so important for patient education if you're anything like me you're a visual person when we're sitting trying to discuss with the patient what they need or uh, what we recommend they don't know what we're talking about when we're using all of our dental jargon so to make it plain have a tooth model handy that can go over a root canal cavities a bridge um crowns implants everything that you could possibly um, diagnose on a patient you want a tooth model to be able to show them what you're referring to as well as a big enlarged tooth model where you can show the patient how to brush how to floss and things of such so highly recommend that you keep those handy just for patient education the next essential on my list is over-the-counter products any product that i recommend to my patients that they're that i need them to do at home to maintain their oral health i like to have it here in office to be able to show them again they need a reference to what it is that you're describing whether it be an electric toothbrush or the water flosser or interdental aids whitening strips toothpaste floss whatever it is you want to have it in office to show them and it's even better if you have it in office for purchase. Your patients will be more compliant if they can go ahead and purchase what it is that you want them to use at home. If they have to leave your office, go to the store, find it, search, call you back to see if this is what you were talking about, it's highly unlikely that they're ever gonna do that. But there are some, in some cases, that will leave, go to the store and call you and say, hey, what's such and such you said I needed? And even to avoid that phone call, sometimes you can write it down. Write it on their next appointment card. Recommended an Oral-B IO toothbrush. Recommended a hygiene doctor water flosser. 
You can even go as far as to have a um, retail list of the stores and the um, competitive prices at each store of each item that you know you always suggest. That takes away some of the work on your patient and I promise you'll, you'll love it when they come back to their appointments and they've been compliant with those products that you've recommended that they use to maintain their oral care. Next on the docket is scrub caps. Oh my God, this is fairly new to me because pre-pandemic, I didn't wear scrub caps. During the pandemic, I didn't wear scrub caps. I just started wearing scrub caps like two months ago. And that was because my hair was nappy a lot and I didn't care to do it. And I use these scrub caps just to hide what's underneath, literally. But of course, scrub caps are used to protect you from germs and aerosols. I understand the purpose of them, but I really never use them. And again, I only use them because they're cute. They match my scrubs and they hide what's underneath. So there's a ton of scrub caps out there now. I think they're more attainable and more fashionable now that it's recommended that we wear them. So I actually didn't purchase any of the ones that I have. The assistant in my office gifted them to me because she no longer wears them. So I have some cute ones. This, which actually matched the scrub, I could have wore this. But I have this cute little pair and it has the um, back of it where you can have a ponytail. And sometimes if I don't have a ponytail to fill in this spot, you can just tie this bow and kind of tuck this underneath and it'll just you know, kind of hang out like this. So they're really cute. And of course, they protect you as well as hide the mess that's underneath. And this is another cute pink one that I have. So these are the only ones that I have, but I think I'm gonna buy me some more because they come in handy. So definitely recommend scrub caps. <laughs> Last but not least on my list of essentials as a dental hygienist is a healthy work environment. Oh my God, you want an office with teammates that work as a team where there's not a lot of mess, stress, so that everybody can be blessed, okay? It really ain't nothing else I gotta say on that. You just want a healthy work environment. And if you would like, I'd love to make a video on what to look for in an office. I think there's some tools you can use um, when you're on the hunt for a job that could help you pick an office suitable for you and your growth as a dental hygienist. So I hope this video has helped you in some form or fashion. If you enjoyed my 10 dental hygiene essentials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if we share some of the same essentials. Or if you have, or if I have something here that you'd love for your office, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. And since you stuck around to the end of this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell next to it so that you're notified on my next upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, hygienists.